long years have passed since Hello. From deep in this forest <laughs> emerged another world, the world of mist. A computer game All right. like no other with We're ready to puzzles, go. a labyrinthine plot, and an interface so beautiful it seduced people who don't normally play computer games into so the last stream. inside and getting lost. I had a little bit of an issue. Now, just as Miss fans were about to give up hope, so this is a Riven, a show called The Net and uh, that I guess was cellulist. sounds like a British show. I'm not sure if what where the show was or where it aired the first, uh, but brothers, it's called The Net, and it was a Scion interview in 1998. There's all this other there's all this like coverage of uh, Riven. Riven like, you know, there was a lot of hype around this game, so. <laughs> One thing I didn't realize was that I guess that I learned from this is that I guess they uh, they lived around kind of where Twin Peaks was filmed or something. Rand is the older one. He's a self-confessed computer geek who spends more time looking after the business hey everyone. than presenting the brother's <laughs> public face. All right. Um, he latches on to a dream. So hopefully I've reinstalled the game. Hopefully it'll all work out. I enjoy uh, I'm gonna just play for a little bit longer. Very analytically. Um, he has the and Rand Miller thinks very just, analytically, know, as think long as, as, uh, as this show says. So, um, <laughs> all right. Uh, one of the things I really, I kind of liked was, um, what was I just taking a look at here? The manual. So this is the manual to Riff, uh, to Riven and, um, I kind of like this first, uh, it's interesting, like just how they were so committed to people having like a very immersive experience with this game, uh, that they say, well, here again, uh, for some of you, this will be a new journey for others. It is just a continuation after a brief, hi brief hiatus. Either way, what you're about to experience is the culmination of blood, sweat, and tears over the last four years. Okay. Maybe not blood. Uh, Riven was designed to be an immersive experience. So shut the door. Turn down the lights and turn up the sound. Sit in a comfortable chair and let yourself be drawn into the world of Riven. And for goodness sake, use a pair of headphones or a good pair of speakers. <laughs> Sincerely, the Riven development team. Uh, that was kind of funny. All right. All right, let's get going on this. Uh, Riven. Installed on the correct drive. I'm just gonna, let's see here. Hopefully we're good. Oh, wait, we do have to. Go back to there. I'm just turning up the audio because it's gonna be, you know what? Yeah, it'll be fine. It's gonna be loud at first, but it'll be fine in the game. Should be. Now it's loud, I know. And it might be a little bit loud at points, but um, I think it's actually kind of good for just, uh, you should be hearing all the background noises and, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna load up my save. We're gonna see how this all goes. Anyway, thanks for joining me, whether you're joining me on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, uh, seeing this live or, or later. Um, yeah, just Riven is one of the, my favorite games. Um, I feel it deserves a lot of analysis, a lot of uh, just just a, a look at, you know, from time to time at least. <laughs> I feel it's kind of a little bit forgotten just because so many people remember Mist and talk about Mist, but they don't remember Riven. I mean, they do, but it's like, I feel like, you know, a lot of people that know Mist and never really kept on with the series just kind of uh, maybe don't know Riven and and should know it because honestly, out of all of the Myst games, Riven is probably the best and is probably, I, I feel like, what I like to say is is that is that out of all the games, the one that is the masterpiece is Riven. All right. Um, although I would consider uh, Myst a masterpiece as well. Whatever that means, you know, I don't know. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to try to save it more often so I don't have to be here. Last time on the, in the stream, um, uh, if you saw, 
uh, there was lots of uh, technical hiccups and stuff like that, so um, I kept having to restart it from, and I wasn't saving as much as I should have been. So I'm just gonna keep saving, keep saving, and we'll we'll try to make a little bit of progress here. So I'm Patrick, by the way. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm an aspiring game developer. Um, I'm kind of a filmmaker. I'm, I've made some films. I'm making some films right now. But I feel my passion and my purpose is to get into interactive world design and um, kind of go in a bunch of different directions with that right now, um, defining my vision. And yeah, uh, just kind of going back into the area, the games and areas that I've. Um, the areas that I've really, the areas of games and game design that I that I that really have uh, made an impact on me um, at an early age, um, and I feel are kind of pinnacles of design, at least for uh, for game design in the 1990s. Um, that's what I would say about the games that I'm kind of taking a look at right now. So welcome. Um, if you've never seen Rhythm before, it is a beautiful game. I mean, looking at any of these, you'll be able to. Looking at any, any of these stills, you'll be able to tell. Um, I'm gonna. I, I. I. I bet it's just a tad too loud, so I'm going to fix that right now. Um, as I ta get out of this, and just turn it down just to about maybe four, minus four dB, something like that, and then we're gonna get right back into it. Anyway, welcome. So, you know, what, what's really cool about these games like Mist and Ribbon is that they're games that are designed to... be... worlds that you just want to be in. Like, it's not really about making progress, although there are puzzles and there is a progression and there is, you know, but more what the designers of this game at least Rand and Robin Miller were, were going for with with Riven and with Mist and I think even with games before this um, that they made is to create a world that was a game focused on just being a, a world to experience. Um, and that was really the the more uh, less so um, more that than than um, and uh, like I guess what I'm saying is is um, more that than a game in a sense, or it feels like it's the emphasis is on the world building, the world of the game, rather than the games within the game in a sense. But they put the games in there, they put the puzzles in there to give you an excuse to meander around, to give you an excuse to just be in this world while you think about how to get through the next puzzle. All right. If it was a world, I, I kind of wonder if it if they didn't have any of these puzzles or anything like that, like if Mist didn't have uh, arbitrary puzzles and really was just a world to walk around in. I wonder how successful it would have been. I don't know. That's it. Did I just go back to the exact same place I was before? Yep, I did. So last episode, if you didn't see, we were in this school room uh, which is a big kind of step in explaining a lot about the world. Um, obviously, someone was teaching these native people um, something, um, and it's like they were kind of teaching them the 
the language of the of the Dani, which are the people that create these worlds. Um, and this was uh, where Gan, uh, Atreus's father, probably was teaching the uh, the people of this of this world. Um, and I was uh, spending time kind of trying to learn the alphabet here. I think this is a direct analog for our alphabet. Um, so basically like there's letters around here and you can use that information to read this stuff. Um, but I haven't figured that stuff out yet. It's been a long time since I've played, so. Um, and then there's also this here, which teaches you the numbers. And you can spin this thing. And it also teaches you something about the world, how they would sacrifice people to this uh, creature. Um, but every time you spin this thing, the, the person drops a certain, a certain number of steps. And like for instance, right here, please go down. Is there another bug happening? There we go. So that's a two. Um, so so I spent time writing down these symbols and keeping track of uh, the number that corresponded to them. One. So, so forth, so forth, so forth. Uh, I don't know if I got all the numbers. I should probably just tr see. I think I'm still missing nine and 10. So I'll, I'll just spin it a few times to see if it pops up. There's been some bugs showing up in the game and like for instance, nothing happened during that one. That was a three. I think I got the three. I got that one, I'm pretty sure. I have one through eight, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yep. Um, but let's just keep going just for a sec here. Yep, that's a four. So I, I like this as far as, you know, like, you have to use pretty much like a notebook to, to get the stuff done because there's no way to remember this stuff. So like this kind of this kind of puzzle solving, I feel, is really neat. Um, you know, puzzle solving that's kind of, that makes you really think and it makes you need to do more than just, you know, I guess in a modern game, if this was made in modern, in a modern setting, like you might you know, just have an interface in the game where you would, um, where you would, uh, like write it down, like in a notebook, literally in the game or something like that, um, and not actually have to get your own notebook. Um, but let's see if this is a symbol now that is going to be, but basically, no, that's a seven. Yeah, that's a seven. That was an eight. All right. But basically, um, that's sort of adverse to what they were going for with Mist and Riven. They wanted there to be no interface or very, very minimal interface. Um, for instance, like down here, there is like kind of a little inventory. I have a book so I can open the book um, uh, like this. <laughs> and in previous episodes I've read through this already um, it's just a few pages and there's a bug that happens with uh, for some reason there's a bug that happens which uh, that I haven't fixed yet which um, is every time I click it turns two pages but there is a bug fix for that if you google it you can probably figure it out if, you've, if you're interested in playing this game um, 
I definitely recommend reading everything, um, decoding all of the letters and language, and there's a rich history and world to, to discover um, in this game, uh, which is just amazing. The story is always told through the environment, um, just through the things you discover in the environment, and that's, that's the most amazing part about Mist and Riven. Um, all right, uh, let's see if we can see that 10. Still trying to get a 9 and a 10, and I've seen these symbols before. Still, still haven't seen a symbol that I have not seen yet. So, I think it might just be 8. I don't know. I heard that there was 10. Alright, well, we're gonna just move on. We're gonna move on. So, um, in the last stream, too, uh, it, um, someone I've been testing maps for, uh, Ever on Wii, uh, Doom Mapper, uh, was asking me to uh, take a look at his map, and I wanted to take a look at his map again. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so if you're into Doom mapping or making Doom maps or anything, um, uh, check out some of my other streams on this stuff. Um, I'm just getting into it, and uh, yeah, I'll be uh, testing out people's Doom maps. If you happen to make Doom maps and you want me to test them out for you, um, make some commentary. I'm just a novice at this stuff, but you know, there might be some value. I feel in uh, just someone that you know isn't really an expert in Doom or an expert in Doom map making to, to make some, you know kind of novice commentary on it as far as like getting a reaction to how just a average gamer would, would react to you to your map um, but yeah I want to get into that like testing out people's maps and stuff so doom building doom map making is such an awesome way of getting into uh, map design level design uh, because it's just so easy to make a map in a short amount of time uh, compared to you know making a map in, in something like uh, in more modern game or something like Quake or something like in a full 3D engine, you know. Uh, Doom is um, not a full 3D engine, but the, the way you make, the speed at which you can make a map in Doom is, is pretty incredible. Um, it's, it's really easy to understand. Um, there's a lot of tools and tutorials out there. Um, anyway, that's just a whole other side of what I'm, what I'm getting into here on this channel. Um, Let's take a nice relaxing ride through this submarine. This underwater submarine ride thing. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to think of what my goal might be this time for this episode. Because I kind of barely know where I'm going, what I'm doing. And I'd like to at least go for maybe about 30, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. No one's watching right now, so... Aw, I missed everyone. <laughs> I had like four or five people watching last time. And then everything was going wrong, and oh man. The game fr kept freezing. But if you're watching this after the fact, and you were watching the one before, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. And, uh, sorry about all those, all those technical issues. All right. So yeah, we got this. Um, there's a lot of uh, use of like CGI movies uh, in this game. I mean, just kind of cool, you know, roller coaster style experiences. I kind of feel like I'm drifting out of frame or something. I guess I'm over here, so should the camera be like that? I don't know. I'm over here. Oh, whatever. Okay. 
Let's see where I am now. Did I just go back to the same place? Again. Yep, my memory is terrible. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to skip some cutscenes as I do this. And I think I might be in the same place, or at least that same place that I was just a second ago. Let's see, I gotta pay attention to where I am. Yep, just going in circles, just going in circles. All right, let's see if we can not go in circles. So I kind of figured out what was going on here. Oh wait, I gotta make made a note of this. So that is a that number that symbol means. Hold on, where did I have that? Where did I have all that written down? Here? Okay, so that is... <sighs> two, that's a two. If you want to see some good uh, level design commentary, this is just random, random, random plug for um, uh, JP LeBreton. Um, he did a series with uh, John Romero back when he worked at Double Fine um, on uh, just playing through uh, John Romero's maps in Doom uh, and did a really amazing job interviewing uh, John Romero and really brought out some really interesting commentary um, on those levels. And since then, he's uh, gone off on his own and done, um, has been working on his own games, his own game tools and stuff. And um, I find his YouTube channel fascinating, and since I'm into Doom building and making Doom maps and stuff, um, uh, I learn a lot from his channel because he does a lot of commentary on that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, he's doing a show called uh, Wad Wednesdays at 12 p.m. on Wednesdays, which is fantastic if you're into uh, making Doom maps at all. All right, let's see here. I don't know if there's anything I have to learn yet here. I'm trying to think, okay, what what do I really need to interact with at this point? I'm going to really try to get some progress done here. While there's no one in my in my uh, stream, I feel a little less pressure. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this stuff, guys. So. <laughs> a little stage fright, maybe, or stage nervousness sometimes. But I feel like more confident like, right now and like I can actually like just get something done in the game. So let's see here. But I, I'm not saying don't watch. <laughs> Please watch. Please watch. That, that sounded like a... I felt like I said that like uh, William Shatner would say. Please watch. Alright. Lots of roller coasters in this game. That dome, that gold dome, I want to get there. It's kind of a goal. I'm looking forward to getting there. I think I'm a little sweaty. Just noticing, sorry guys, I'm just noticing I had like looking a little shiny. <laughs> these bright lights it's kind of hot today do we have the AC going? yeah alright 
Just making sure. Not wasting cold air. Because I got my windows open. Alright. So, what do we got here? So this is where we kind of started out the game. So I could read that. It'd be really fun to figure that out. I should, I should, I should come back on another stream and know what the alphabet is and show you guys just how I did it. Um, but I kind of don't want to waste a stream doing that. So we could look at these things again. This, 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 this series is probably going to be a lot of meandering around because it, this is literally this is a very tough game to figure out actually if you just if you've never you know if you haven't played it in a long time or you've never played it at all and for me it's just i haven't played it in years and years since it came out pretty much looks like gan's writing a journal i just somehow know that's gan uh you see it's that face we keep seeing everywhere this guy probably gan there's probably a story being told here. All right. Love the animation on those uh, bug things. I don't even know what those like are supposed to be. Like this, these wings. What is that supposed to be made out of? So this is part six. Well, you can read it, obviously, in the title of the video. But yeah, I think the, oh no, this is part seven. So we've been seeing these daggers everywhere, this dagger symbol. It's kind of, I think, the symbol for Riven, pretty much. Okay, we're going under the fence there, into this kind of back area. So I want to see if there's a way we can manipulate anything here, like open up that back area. Maybe I can at least get that far. Because then we might have better access to this right here, this gate. There's gotta be a way to get that gate open, although I'm not sh I'm sure if I have everything I need to do that. Yet. <laughs> I still feel like I'm somehow awkwardly framed. I guess I'm fine. All right. So now we're able to look through here, and it's like we're pretty much looking through a part of the bug in the pillar. Or we can kind of see in there. The gate is still closed, though. So um, I don't know if this is like a... So I'm going to take a wild guess that, like, just because... Like here, we can look up and see this gold dome. There's this gold dome that is kind of works as like a, it's like a tower in mist. Um, Robin Miller in a post-mortem he did, in a post-mortem talk he did about the making of mist um, at GDC, kind of talked about how mist was designed with the philosophy of, um, of uh, like Disney World, sort of, like um, the idea of a weenie, the idea of having a landmark um, and this is kind of a common level design thing, like having having landmarks to that are always in view um, to sort of keep yourself feeling like you're oriented. Um, and also what's interesting about this gold dome is that it's almost like a goal. Like it's just so enticing. You're like, what the hell is that thing? You want to get there. And, and they put you right next to it right at the beginning of the game and they let you look at it even. Like, and that's, that's kind of what this whole room is. This is the first room you encounter. Um, and so it gives you like a like in a goal uh, like like you like an enticing goal um so you feel like you have have a goal in this game uh, like you have a, something you want to go towards um oh okay so here we go look at this this symbol right here so now i know what that symbol is that symbol on the floor right there um that is a one so that means that's the number one or wait no it could be the number five. It's probably the number five. Um, depends on how you orient it. No, it doesn't depend on how you orient it. I'm just an idiot. It is definitely a five. Um, so, uh, 
so these pillar it's obviously a five because you know it's a symbol for how many like it's a star right okay it's a star with five corners all right uh so that passage is open there's a passage there that's open um but we can't get there and i keep accidentally clicking on the door instead of under the door um kind of a neat touch that you can go under that door so let's just uh let's just spin this around a little bit more hello welcome person <laughs> uh playing playing some ribbon right now i can't see i don't know if there's a good way to monitor just everyone that's watching i don't think i can i think i have to wait till someone talks to know who they are all right um But yeah, so trying to do a better episode before a better episode of this was having kind of a mishap episode of uh, this uh, just a little while ago. Oh my god, I can get in here. All right. So got this gold dome. Looks a little bit like an observatory because it's got it's a big dome and it's got um like a slit through the middle. Looks like one of those giant, you know, observatory things. Uh, made out of gold brick. That's kind of interesting. It's like a brick, made out of brick, but it's painted gold. All right. How do you make a dome like that out of brick? That's crazy. Well, I guess you do it by just writing it in a book, right? <laughs> All right. Um, how, I was having at least some, even though everything was going wrong with the game stability, the game was freezing and stuff. There were just bugs happening. Um, oh, I should probably save. Hold on, guys. That reminds me. In case it does, like say, like freeze right now, I should probably save. Yeah, I had to get restarted the game last stream. So, I uh, just figured out what all the numbers symbols are. There's a lot of figuring out, like, um, in this game. Um, language stuff. Uh, uh, symb there are symbols for, for numbers. And figured out what all the numbers are. So, like, this number right here, that's a five. Although you can't really see it. It's blocked by this thing here. But All right. Have this uh, ride that we can go on that uh, looks kind of like uh, a certain fish that we keep seeing everywhere. Hmm. Is this number? That was up there. Oh yeah, there was one thing I could have probably seen. Okay, there's another one of those ball things in the walls. Um, balls in the wall. Um, on that other island over there. All right, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip this part. There we go. All right. And I'm here. Okay, this is where it froze last time. Okay, it's not frozen yet. <laughs> um, got these 
bead things that I can put here. They're like pe pellets. We close this thing. Can... It's not doing anything. All right, that's because I probably don't have any power or anything like that going to it. Because this thing is like providing I think like power, it's boiler room here. So let's, um, let's move that over there. All right, um, so now we're moving that down, okay. Let's see if, oh, hey, <laughs> everyone we. <laughs> this yeah they are i don't know it all depends on what you're into like i mean a lot of people when mist came out um were like oh this game's just a slideshow or something like that you know like they it, it didn't seem like a real video game to a lot of people but you know, they're really nice they're like kind of relaxing experiences and ribbon is like so much you definitely should play Mist first if you're gonna play these. I mean, there is kind of a continuity to it, but um, but Mr. Ribbon, yeah, they're good. They're good. Definitely some of my favorites. Right. So yeah, I don't know what's going on here. It's really challenging too because it's like, especially Ribbon, like. It takes a long time to figure out what the hell's going on here. And I haven't played this game in like, I think like literally 20 years. Well, this game came out in 1998, so it can't be 20 years exactly, but. Yeah. 1998, yeah. So. It was definitely the best looking pre-rendered CGI like ever, like at this point when this came out. There's a lot of compression though on um, on the videos and stuff because you know they just didn't have a lot of space on the uh, on the CD-ROMs and on people's hard drives, you know. Like I think when this game came out, like you know, hard drives were still like five gigabytes, like. <laughs> And this game is like a one or two gigabyte game. <laughs> Maybe hard drives were bigger than I don't know. I feel I, I feel like I remember when it, around the same time, like it being a big deal that we got like a five gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> but yeah, 98. <laughs> oh, they broke it. Like they just figured out like a way that to beat it that didn't like that you didn't intend. For anyone not for anyone watching this later, um, uh, I'm talking to uh, a Doom mapper Everon Everon We, uh, who I am uh, I have uh, tested a map for. I'm going to be uh, doing another test stream or test testing of their map, um, and uh, yeah, just talking about their map right now. Let's see here. Submission for uh, for Doom World Mega Project 2017. All right, let's see here. <sighs> yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing on that one thing there. Okay, I have to. I'm gonna get out of here. Here. I want to make a little more progress. So I think I have to. This, this, this is the type of game where it's like the answers will come to you, but you just have to, you just have to chill out for a while and kind of like just let it all soak in. Oh yeah, that's the wrong way. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, 20 gigabytes. That was about right. Yeah, that's probably what we had. When this game came out. But it was a big deal when this game... It, this game came out on five CDDs. Like five CD-ROMs. And yeah, it was like a two gigabyte game. Then later they came out with a DVD version. Oh, this stuff's so cool. I just love watching these. It, it doesn't really get old. There's like, so there's so many different like things where you're like, like this, where you're going through the water. It's, it looks so awesome. Although it's like super compressed because like they had to compress the videos like a ridiculous amount. So it's like a little hard to make out any detail here. <laughs> Awesome though. But yeah, I love I just love the uh, kind of the reoccurring roller coaster theme. Like how you get around. It's just a fun it's just a fun way to get around. It's a relaxing game. How'd they break it? They tried to take a shortcut. So it's like, they could have beat it. So if someone was playing your map, they tried to take a shortcut. And that somehow broke it? Like they actually made it work? They made their shortcut work or something? <laughs> or they weren't quick enough to take the shortcut? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So with that Doom World uh, Mega World, uh, Doom World Mega World, <laughs> that Doom World Mega uh, project, is it? How does that work? I was like, I was looking at it just a little bit, but like, is it just people or? Oh wait, the people of the of Riven have to hide from me. Hold on, they're sounding out the sending out the alarm. This guy's walking around. Go hide, because we can't show people walking around all the time. It's too. Too much quick time movies. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Does it ever get put into like a megawad or something like that eventually? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Like, or is it just like this is a contest? This person wins. All right, so. I think I need to just think about this some more. I might be in a place where I just have to think about it because I've been going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I wanna make sure I have not missed anything in this area. Eventually, I know that opens up. Okay. Where could I go back to? What have I not done yet? Oh, there's some animals. It's been a while since we've seen these animals. I guess like they kind of come and go. Like it's that same anima same animation every time, but it's like sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Get some nice beach sounds. How do I get up there? 
Can I get up there? I'm just thinking about something here. I've been over here. But there might be a way to get up that I don't even realize. Like, I, I think there's, um... Because I need to get up to this area here, get on this platform here. I might have missed something. I'm gonna go back into this thing here. Maybe I'll be able to make some progress here. Okay, skip. I'm skipping the movie. All right. There it is. I think this is it. I think I'm there now. Hold on. Okay, all right. What was that sound? All right. It's an ominous sound. Okay, so this thing comes down. I think maybe I can hold that and get up there? Hopefully. Can I? What if I... Can I step on it? Can I click on it? Can I do anything? No, it just goes up automatically. Okay. <sighs> but that's 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 this game. I mean, it's it it's just gonna take. Uh, it's interest. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best game to stream in the sense that like, it does take just a lot of time to think. All right, if you're really fresh to it and don't remember how all the puzzles are done. I think I've been everywhere I can be. Yeah, I can't do that right now. Now if I go over here... I'm just... Okay. Yep, now I'm here. Try to get over there. I don't, I don't. I might need to spend some time with this outside of this stream because it's just. Unless it's at all interesting to watch someone just kind of think about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was the idea. I kind of wanted to catch, capture the entire process on. on for this episode.
That's pretty cool. Well, I'm done with this game. I'm just gonna go right back. Take me back, Atrus. Take me back. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I love this game so much, but man, is it confusing. Oh, I figured it out. Hold on, just a guy. Just a second. Oh, no, no, no. That didn't work, huh? I thought I could uh, get out on the other side of this thing. think hopefully I'm not streaming at too high a bit rate guys let me know if it's like constantly lagging or something like that because I am it is I'm looking at the bit rate it's like I'm doing 3500 but sometimes it's like jumping above that hey I feel like I'm just on the verge of like Oh, that's awesome. I, thanks for telling me that. that that's all compiled in uh, every map, every submission. That is uh, going to be... It, every submission is going to be compiled into one watt or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty badass. That is really cool. Um, I feel like I'm on the verge of figuring something out. <laughs> but it's like, it's been back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All right. All right, um... I'm gonna just empty this thing out, go back into this room, see... Let's see here. Was it like that? Okay, so it dropped for a few minutes? Okay. Oh, now it's dropping right now. <laughs> I hope it's still going all right. Um, it looks like it dropped right now, didn't it? Yeah. So maybe that's two drops. Come on. What's happening now? Still, I don't even know what, uh, let's see here. All right, we're good. So this is the way I originally got to uh, this uh, area up here that I'm about to show you. Let's see here, nice view. And then I opened this thing, which allowed me to just get up this uh, ladder in the future. And I want to get over here, to this area over here. And I feel like it has something to do with these things. Somehow I'm able to stop this. If I can stop this, I can climb in there. And then I really don't know what I'm what the what what good the the bead thing is. It's like I'm feeding something down there. Um, oh, 
All right. Well, that that feels pretty good for this episode. Um, but that's the way Riven and Mist work. I mean, especially if you've never like played through it before. You know, it's it's a lot of guesswork. It's a lot of like taking time to just think. Um, and yeah, 2024. Yeah, 2000. I would I might do 2400 or something next time if it's causing stream issues for people um but yeah um awesome so there, yeah this is the uh this is this is it for this episode part seven um i'm gonna take some time to think about just just kind of think on this um maybe come back and do another one of these before the week is out even though not just not wait until until the schedule time next week um because uh i'm about to get somewhere i'm about to just get somewhere i feel it so <laughs> but that's the way rivet and mist work it's like it's like just a lot of uh thinking so we have all these roadblocks that i've been at for like the last like three three or so episodes um and not sure i kind of vaguely remember from my childhood like where like where i'm generally supposed to go but just how to get there all right <laughs> 